What's going on guys? How you doing? We're back again with another one of our great short haul vlogs. I hope you guys enjoy these things where we're trying to deep dive into how we can make short haul local work work for you. You can make money and be home every day. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right. So guys, like I said before, our goal for the most part is going to be 5,500 a week which is gonna get us to our $22,000 on the month that we need in order to get our bonus. But we had to make up for what happened on week number one where we only got to run for three days. So this week's number that we had to hit in order to make up, because we made up a little bit last week, we need to make up the rest of it this week, is $6,597.36. That's what we're shooting for. So did we make it? What did we end up doing this week? I don't know. Let's get into the numbers. Let's get into the loads. And let's add it all up. All right. So this week we were able to get back onto this GM work, which is what I love. It's what I'm hauling right here. One of my, uh, one of the yards I really like running out of because our back haul so far has been from North Carolina back to the house. And this plant here, I can load here today, get home tonight, leave out in the morning, get delivered, get reloaded in North Carolina, get back, get that stuff delivered and get home that night. So it's been still the whole idea of keeping me home every night. So this week we did four loads total. Um, again, coming out of GM, they were pretty good loads. They, this yard pays pretty well, in my opinion, as long as you got back hauls. First load we hauled this week was a load of Nissans heading down to uh, East Tennessee. That load paid 1888.45. That was a pretty good load. That's actually really good numbers for that run. Um, there's been some good numbers out of there, but. That again has been the same thing it's been lately, which is going to be a six stop load. So if you like doing a lot of drops, it's not bad, but again, we're into those heavy numbers of drops. Load number two after that was a load of 10 cars coming back up to East Tennessee. And that was for $1,196.56. That was a, uh, I think that was a one drop load. That might've been two drops. I might've had a Johnson City Kingsport load on that one. I don't remember a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure that one was a two drop load. Um, then our next load after that was a load from up here out to North Carolina. That was a seven dropper. I went all the way down through Charlotte, all the way up to Rowley and back. Uh, that was a pretty, uh, I guess we'll call it a fun load. We circled all of uh, North Carolina pretty much. But that one paid $2,259.70. Then our last load coming back home that we did was a load. It was a uh, three dropper. That was a Johnson City, an Enterprise at the airport, and a uh, drop out in Kingsport. That was for $1,121.32 for a grand total of 600 or sorry for a grand total of six thousand four hundred sixty six dollars and three cents so a little shy of the number that we were shooting for but it's still a pretty good week for doing four loads it's not bad and the whole awesome part is is now that we've kind of concentrated on getting consistent with this work and we cut our deadhead miles down a little bit. We made, I think, about $300 more this week than we did last week. So it was a little bit helpful, or that helped out a little bit, but it wasn't a whole ton. So I guess what I'm gonna try to do next week is I'm gonna end up trying to do a sixth day. Run one extra day next week and get that number up to around $8,000. I think if I had one more uh, load out to like North Carolina or maybe preloaded next week out to North Carolina. So that way the week after that, um, I'm delivering a $2,000, $2,500 load on Monday and then bringing a, another $1,100, $1,200 load back on Tuesday. We're gonna be way ahead on the week. So it's kind of my thought process. Well, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. All right, so realistically, based on what's happened the last two weeks and the small tweaks that we've done, um, we haven't really seen a whole giant increase in the amount of money that we're making on a week-to-week -week basis. That's 6,000, 6,500 range. Because of all the extra stops that we have going on right now, I think is gonna be kind of, I think it's realistically gonna be about the top end that we have until we start getting better, uh, 
better loads with it's just one or two drops most loads um I, that's really killing us or um the other thing that we could really do is obviously i could not go home I could drive the extra two hours left on my logs at the end of the day when I get back towards my house. I could do that instead of going home, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of running local, running the short haul stuff, getting home every night, seeing your family. I could, that kind of defeats that whole end of the game um, that I guess we're, we're trying to do here by running local. I don't want to change that. I guess the other thing we could do is we could run on Saturdays, run a sixth a day, which is something that's that's reasonable not something that um i like doing per se that's yeah, not a scratch that was wax um that's not something that i like doing per se but then again i preach all the time getting home every night getting i mean i preach being able to get home on the weekends and only running a five day work week and, and getting to see family, spend time with your family. Don't uh, work your entire life away, but it's hot in here, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Don't work your entire life away. Run, run so you get to see your family, you get to spend time with your family, have a home life. But running on a Saturday when you're getting home every night, I would say is a lot less of a drastic uh i guess what you would say like it, it's not as bad as it is if you're gone all week long to begin with because you are getting home i'm getting between two and four hours a night with my family and then I, we go to bed i get up and i run i come home i get two to four hours go to bed same thing all week long right now so I guess running a Saturday, whether you're delivering or you're just preloading so you can deliver the next week, um, it, it's not as big of a deal, like I said, as, as if you were just gone all week long to begin with. So I think we're gonna try next week, either preloading for the week after or just full on running on Saturday. I think I'm gonna preload and try that, see how that works. And then if that, obviously you'll you'll probably make more, but if it if you don't make a whole ton more, um, then then I think what I'm going to try to do is run a full Saturday after that. Like I said, there, there's little things that we can do to make the short haul better, but it's just trying things. It's just, it's just little changes here and there to make it all work and get a rhythm going. Right now, I think I have a pretty good rhythm because I've done. I think, what was it, a 62, and now a 60, almost 6,500 week, um, back to back. So that that aspect is, uh, obviously we're, we're doing something right, but again, there's still some small tweaks and changes we can keep doing. We'll just keep trying these little things, and if you guys have any ideas also, shoot them to me. Let, let, give me an idea of what you have, and I'll try it. But uh, guys, until next time, as always, if you want to come over here and drive for United Road, shoot me an email down below. If you want a free stock or you want the Get Upside app, which is something that gets you money back on every fuel receipt you log into it, download those. The links are down below. But guys, until next time, I love you. I'll catch you next time. Bye.